The Flux series of AI generative art models kind of shook up the entire space, if I'm being honest. And I put out a video the other day that said it completely destroys Stable Diffusion 3. One of my YouTube subscribers, Michael Merkin, said, I'd like to see an apples to apples comparison between Flux and SD3 on similarly specified prompts to see whether it in fact completely destroys SD3 or whether they're reasonably comparable. Happy to do that. Let's jump in. Over at Pixel Dojo, I've had over 40,000 images generated with Flux and Flux Pro in just the past three days. So we've got plenty of data to go on for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we have the Flux AI image creator here. We've got the Stable Diffusion 3 image creator here. So we'll do an apples to apples side by side comparison. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna select some images from the community gallery and we're gonna grab the prompt that we use for those. And some of these are Stable Diffusion 3, some of them are flux prompts. Now, that one at the very end you saw with the hand, I'm saving the best for last because I think that's an impossible one for AI to solve and we'll talk about that more in depth at the end of the video. But for now, let's jump into this first one. This one is two smiling faces framed by rough hand cut cardboard fashion into the iconic green and yellow of the Brazilian flag. You can see it's a light, it's a nice paragraph of text here. So this should be something that's good for both Flux and for Stable Diffusion. We're gonna test some complex and some simple prompts. I am not going to use the Enhance with AI feature for Flux because I think that gives it an unfair advantage. And then we're gonna try and match the original aspect ratio of the images as well. In this case, we'll just simply go with one to one. All the settings, so if you look at the advanced options, I'm using the default settings sort of the best practice settings for both image models. This is Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. And then over here on Flux, it's real simple. I'm just keeping the guidance scale at the default 3.5. So we'll go ahead and click on Generate for both systems, and we'll see what comes back. This first one from Flux Pro looks fantastic. You can see the skin texture. It really looks like, even the brush strokes in the face, it really looks like this is paint that came and was placed on the faces of these people. It looks like they're looking through what appears to be cardboard that's bashed out or smashed out. And you can see even little defects in the surface of the cardboard, even where their paint is sort of like, it looks like it almost has brush strokes or something in it. This is really, really impressive. Honestly, this is like mid-journey level stuff. Let's look at the result from Stable Diffusion 3. All right, and here's the result we get back from Stable Diffusion 3. Uh, <laughs> Not quite. So it's, I mean, it looks like cardboard, right? And you've got the nice peeling edges and everything else. It doesn't look like the Brazilian flag. And then it looks like it's photos of two children underneath that have been sort of ripped out of the center. It's still a cool image, but it's not the level that we had from that flux image in the previous model. Now I am gonna, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna save all of these images to a public gallery. So you'll be able to come here after the video and you'll be able to analyze and look at each one that I've used during the filming of this video. So use your own judgment, leave me comments, let me know what you think, but so far I would say Flux is winning this one. For this next one, I'm gonna test the ability to follow and produce text. So you can see the prompt for this one is imagine a vibrant urban scene dominated by a large weathered brick wall, the perfect canvas for graffiti art. The wall is a mix of rusty reds, muted browns, and accents of bright greens, giving it the gritty, authentic street art vibe. In the center, bold graffiti letters scream out Flux Pro on Pixel Dojo. Let's go ahead and try this on both. All right, let's take a look at the first result from Flux Pro. You see it's got a really nice, gritty, textured wall here. Don't like how the graffiti sort of flows over this corner. That's unrealistic on both sides. But other than that, it's got this really nice aesthetic to it. Now, one thing you'll notice, it has Flux Pro, but it doesn't have on Pixel Dojo. So it did lose out on some of the writing that it was supposed to contain from the prompt. So not quite the prompt adherence that we had hoped for. Now, if you look at the lettering though, it's perfect. All of the words that are on here are spot on, which is something we haven't really seen from diffusion models before. Let's look at the result from Stable Diffusion 3. We can see this is a little bit different story. Now, the wall is still pretty cool. It's kind of crumbling. It has that really gritty look to it. Um, but I can't really, it looks like it's F, L, L. I can't really make out these other letters. It looks like the X and some other thing is smashed together. Pro is almost legible. 
And then you have Pixel, but it has two X's and then Dogo instead of Dojo maybe. The lettering is just incoherent overall, I'd have to say. So this one at least had all of the lettering or all of the words that it was supposed to in the image, but it's completely unusable. So that's a tougher one, but I've got to give this one probably to Flux as well. We're going to test something a little simpler. So this is simply a prompt that says a car made out of silver dust particles. We're going to stay with that widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And here's the result from Flux Pro. You can see the car, it looks like a car, it looks like it's sort of sprinkled with dust maybe. There's dust all over the place, but it's completely silver. You've got all the dust clouds and dust particles. It does look like it has maybe rubber tires, but I don't know what else you would do. Uh, so I don't know. This followed the prompt fairly well. And Stable Diffusion 3. This looks like a wrap that you have on a test vehicle, a vehicle that hasn't been released yet and sort of has those lines and such that blur the contours of the car. So a cool image, but not really following the prompt. It's not made out of silver dust particles. So again, I think Flux wins this one as well. For this next one, we're gonna go back to a little bit more complex prompts. So for this one, beautiful woman with blue pigtails and black lipstick holding a glass of water. She's wearing a space suit setting spaceship holodeck. Text at the top in dynamic lettering, space hollow water on the wall in digital text, rations. So we've got a woman here, she's not wearing a space suit. She does have pigtails with blue hair. She does have black lipstick. She's holding a glass. You can see it looks like the hands are pretty good there. It does say rations on the back, but it doesn't say hollow water anywhere. Perhaps that's what's on the machine in the back that's sort of blurred out by the bokeh. But overall, a pretty high quality image, just not quite following every piece of the prompt. I mean, this is like some mid-journey level stuff though overall. If I'm just talking about the aesthetic and the realism, really nice quality. This one's actually not bad. So you've got the blue pigtails, black lipstick. She's actually wearing a spacesuit, so it did a better job following that piece of the prompt. She's holding a glass of water. The hands are a little wonky because I think she's missing a finger on each hand. Yeah, it looks like she has three fingers on each hand and then her thumbs. A little bit bizarre. It does look like this is set more in a space station holodeck type setting. And it does say space, but I don't think it says hollow water. Maybe, again, it could be that, you know, with the bokeh and sort of out of focus. The lighting looks good. It's really natural. It doesn't quite have that same quality that you get from the Flux Pro model, but this isn't bad. This one I love, a scenery, a little white dog and a Siberian cat with dark brown fur sitting on a sofa, both wearing a baseball cap, watching a mouse movie on TV. Looking at the TV set on the cap is a text, I love cats. So you got a lot going on here that it's got to follow along with. This is pretty good. All right, so you've got the Siberian cat with the dark brown fur. You've got the white dog wearing a baseball cap, watching the TV, and it says, I love cats. Uh, not quite cats, but it says, I love something. It, you can see sort of the word cats there. It did lose the text a little bit. Overall, not bad though. Over on the Stable Diffusion 3 side, actually not bad. So you've got them both sitting on a couch. It's not as high a quality image. It's got a white dog, Siberian cat. And then I would say it did a slightly better job on the text. I heart cats, it's sort of like unnaturally sitting on top of the cat's head versus if we jump back over, you can see how, I mean, it looks like this dog is wearing the hat. This, it looks like a bad Photoshop job, I'd have to say. This next one, another really simple prompt, Gothic Girl Dramatic Light. You can see the original image is quite striking. All right, so this is the first result we get back from Flux, and it has that sort of mid-journey-esque feel to it again, where you've got really dramatic lighting, the facial features, the skin tones, everything about this looks really high quality. Nice result. And then Stable Diffusion 3, not too bad, actually. So this looks a little bit more vintage or washed out, which kind of goes with that goth theme, I guess. The facial features, everything else look nice. It's a really good quality image, just a different look and feel. And if you've used different image generators in the past, you know that each one sort of has its own look and feel to it. You can sort of pick out a dolly image versus a mid-journey image and that sort of thing. This next one I really like. It's created Disney Pixar style character that's holding a picture frame that has a photo of themselves in it. And this one came out really cool. Let's see if we can reproduce it. Here's our result. Really cool image. Definitely that 
kind of Pixar style. Not really holding an image of herself though, but she does have that cardboard badge that she's holding up. Nice. All right, in Stable Diffusion 3, this is interesting. I would not call this Pixar style. <laughs> it's just an elderly woman holding up a paper card. Interesting. It's a high quality image, don't get me wrong, but it didn't really follow the prompt as far as Pixar style. This one, I think the original image is really high quality. This one sort of blew me away in the fact that this started coming from something we could use that was open source and it wasn't a mid journey image. So the prompt for this one is a female evil hypnotist holding a crystal in front of her as if to hypnotize the viewer. She should have a block ponytail and be wearing wireframe eyeglasses. She should be wearing crimson lipstick. Here's a Flux Pro image, that same really high quality. It follows everything, she's holding the crystal, nice lighting, nice textures, realistic skin tones, uh, just really nice overall image. Stable Diffusion 3, a ah, little weird. Again, look at the hands, three fingers. I don't know what it is with all the prompts today producing people that have three fingers, but that's really bizarre and scary. There's this crystal kind of floating. It's just not quite there. All right, for this next one, this actually I created with Stable Diffusion 3, but I could never quite get the text and everything else to work out. So it's created digital artwork featuring a central character with striking blue skin, long wavy hair and shades of pink and purple and devil horns. The character is holding a Microsoft Windows laptop with the message on the screen that reads blue screen of death in bold letters. The backgrounds filled with numerous laptops and electronics in a fiery landscape. So it's a very specific prompt and I wanted to use it to see if these models were very good at following and adhering to the original prompts. And let's see how the new ones do. All right, the one from Flux Pro came back. It's not as nice as the original image as far as, I don't know, the look of the actual character. It's more cartoony. Although I will say it nails the text, everything else in the prompt. It adhered to the prompt actually quite nicely. I just don't maybe like the aesthetic or the look and feel of it, but the hands are good. The laptop's good. The text is good and it really nailed everything else. This one on the other hand, I like the look and feel of the character, but everything else it sort of drops. It has the laptops and fire and everything else in the background. It doesn't have BSOD or blue screen of death. It looks like it was trying to create that on the laptops in the background, uh, but just not quite there as far as the prompt adherence point of view. Nice image overall though. All right, this one was a challenge I actually found over on X and the idea is that they're supposed to be forming a heart with the fingers like this. And uh, so far I have not been able to get a prompt that has been able to generate that with any image generator. So this might actually be impossible, but hey, what the heck, let's try it out anyway. And you can see just as an example, this is one that I got with Stable Diffusion 3 before. It's really bizarre, really weird. Um, so hopefully we get something equally weird back from these newer models. Yeah, this is almost spot on. It's so weird. So it has the mouth in the middle of the palm and it has the manicured fingers with the pink nail polish and everything else like the original asked for, but man, super bizarre. Also, what's going on with the hands here? There's like, uh, some extra, uh, there's two thumbs here. It's like two hands mashed together somehow. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Not much better from Stable Diffusion 3. Um, I mean, look, it's got the, the nail polish, everything else. This looks like a more realistic hand, which is, I think, more nightmarish than the other one. But the fingers are everywhere. I don't, how many fingers are there? One, two, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten. So maybe it is two hands sort of mashed together. And then this bizarre lipstick mouth in the middle. So, yep. No AI image generator has been able to crack this one yet, but nice try. Let's do a couple bonus ones here. Create a fantastical, surreal creature with the following attributes. Whimsical brain-like texture in shades of pink and blue covering its body. Oversized expressive eyes with detailed irises. You can see sort of what I was going for here with the original. Really weird stuff, but let's see what we can get back from Flux with this one. All right, hey, it did it. So it's got this brain on the outside of its head this is it's it's super cute in the bizarre weird kind of way but really nice image overall i've got to say right so it followed the prompt really closely and i'd say it's an overall nice result and then over here on the stable diffusion 3 side we have nightmare fuel so you've got the head made out of a brain 
It's got this weird, like almost duckish mouth, and then a blue furry body. Um, interesting. All right. <laughs> so, hey, they did it. All right. Last image. There's a line in a Kanye West song where he says, "How I bring nothing to the table, I am the table." So we're gonna do Kanye West with a body made out of a table. You got Kanye West standing next to a table. Not quite what we were going for. Kind of the same thing from Stable Diffusion 3. I was hoping for something a little bit more out there and wild like we got in the last couple prompts, but not quite there. And the whole point of this was to do one shot. So I think with some iteration and some testing, you could probably get some more creative results out of some of these. But this is what you can expect right out of the box with no additional tuning, no additional prompting, just straight up clicking generate. I hope that answered your question, Michael. Everybody let me know down in the comments below which model you think won this battle. I've obviously got my own preference and idea here. Now, if you want to use all of these models and 20 other AI tools for an unlimited use plan, $25 a month over at pixeldojo.ai, check it out. Let me know what you think down below. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. We'll see you next time. Thanks.